Hi, I'm Paul. That is the open road. And this is a complete and utter rip-off from Tom of Except for Access. Hello there you beautiful people, how the devil are you? Uh, you join me on a Wednesday morning, it is Wednesday the 12th of May uh, at 8.30 in the morning. Start the vlog, <laughs> a little bit of a skip there, it's uh, an opening from uh, Big Daddy at Except for Access. I just thought I'd set a mic a little bit, I'm sure you won't mind. If you haven't checked him out, make sure you do check out his channel, Except for Access, really good content. Really good, really nice guy. He has about 3,000 cameras in his car, but yeah, good lad. Go check him out. I'll stick a link in the description and I'll stick a card over there somewhere. <sighs> As I say it's Wednesday morning. We're heading into London. Uh, we're on the uh, A1 shaft band. And as you can see from the signpost coming up, we're just approaching Welland Garden City Junction. Uh, we've still got well, we've got 29 miles to go, and it's telling us an hour and a half, which is typical going into the city, uh, but we do have a 19 minute delay. Uh, it's one spot, just one spot on the map. So there's obviously uh, some kind of um, accident or... Sure, I need to be in this lane. Sure, I do. Oh, flip back across. Sure, I need to be in that middle lane. Um, yeah, there's some kind of accident or something that's going on. Of roadworks or something. It's just that uh, bottom like there of 19 minutes. Um, chose to come down the, the A1 uh, because the M1 was even worse. <laughs> um, so we're going to uh, a place not far from Marble Arch. Uh, I think I've taken you in before me. Not sure. Um, so the plan is to go A1, A41. Um, Swiss Cottage, round past uh, Lord's Cricket Ground, onto St John's Wood, turn left onto Maida Vale, that'll take me up the A5 to uh, Marble Arch. We'll hang a right at Marble Arch, <coughs> it's only about a mile and a half down there, we turn right, it's just a street name, can't remember what it is, we turn right and the site comes up down there, well, it's about a mile down that road. So. Yeah, we've got um, steel bracings on the, the basically the con uh, steel pipes um, with flanges welded on either end and stuff. And some brace plates. And... Come on then, love, you got the power. Crack on. 
Um, well, there's only about 12 ton on, nothing major. But it's all pipes, so but they're laid down on the bed. So the, the, there's three packs, if you like, all laid across the bed. They're not banded together or anything, they're all loose. So I ended up, I had to belly wrap with, um, with straps. I've only strapped them. Um, so I've belly wrapped each individual pack, one belly wrap, and then depending on how big the sections were, as in the length of the pipe in that, in that section, it got an additional um, one, two, or three, depending on what was, uh, what was needed. Like I said, there's not a lot of weight on there, it's just a little bit awkward, that's all. Oh. So apologies about no video last week. Uh, I did record, um, but it was garbage to be fair. Uh, I couldn't be bothered to record, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm always honest with you guys. When I was doing the recording, I really wasn't into it. Um, it was... Week one in the new truck, so I've been flat out trying to get the truck sorted. Um, I just wasn't into it. And as you can probably see from the truck, there's not a lot of difference on the inside. <laughs> um, I posted a photograph the other day on Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, make sure you do. It's uh, just a bit of a trucker. I posted the first photo of the new truck on there. And that was yesterday, being Tuesday the 11th. So I did take a load of B-roll. Oh, annoying or what? I, uh, I went to our yard at Dalton. Um, I had the truck washed, but I made another lad washed it, hand washed it, and waxed it with some liquid wax. Sorry, I've got a really itchy spot on my back, my shoulder. Um, yeah, and she was looking really, really nice, really on point. Pulled it out, I thought, I'll get it outside. I know this particular little lay-by that I can get in, not far from my yard. It's surrounded by green fields. Um, sheep in fields, it'd be nice get some nice photos. In fact, I'll put that bit of montage up now, so I'll look at that now. Isn't it? It would have been nicer with drone footage though, wouldn't it? How much nicer would that have been with drone footage? However, but it's not far from Topcliff, just outside Thursk. Um, and at Topcliff there is a gliding club. Um, when I fly in our yard, which I have got permission to do on my yard, um, when I fly in our yard I've got to text message um, on the app it comes up, you've got to put your phone number in, you've got to ask permission to fly because um, we are quite close to the gliding club um, and where I'd moved to I guess he's not going off there uh, where I'd moved to um, was a little bit closer to one let me fly the drone the, the app just shut the drone down, it just wouldn't even it wouldn't even let me start the, the propellers up, it wouldn't let me do anything with the drone, it was just completely dead it's a safety thing, can't argue with it, I'm not going to argue with it. Now nah, this is where I need to be in lane 2. Stay here for now. We'll go through a tunnel in a minute, yeah. So yeah, the truck looked quite quite nice in that bit of clip uh, footage and that. So I do intend um, I did intend getting some more footage somewhere else. Um, however, um, Mother Nature had different different ideas, and I came through the mother of all storms, um, absolutely bouncing it down. 
So the truck is absolutely gopping, it's hanging, it's, it's a right mess again. <laughs> so I'll see how we get on later on in the week. If I get any more footage later on in the week, I will add it to the video at some point um, today, you know, throughout the recording. And uh, you can see it. But yeah, it's, it, it's, it's hanging. As far as the interior goes, it's pretty much exactly the same. Well, it is exactly. No, it's not. It's pretty much exactly the same as the uh, the auto trail truck. Um, the only difference I can really see is the position of the DSV monitor is slightly in a different place, and the phone holder is in a different place, slightly. It's not in the same area, it's slightly different position. Um, aside from that. There's no difference on the interior. I bet you can't even tell the difference, can you? Right, rest assured, I am in a different truck. So I've got my funky stickers on my doors, on my door windows. Um, I'll get a photograph and put that on the screen uh, now, so you see the door windows. So that's my Wittering Trucker stickers. They are a little bit on the big side, a little bit oversized for what I really wanted, but they are what I ordered. Um, my good friend that have it personalised um, did them for me. Um, but yeah, they've done they've done them to the size that I asked for. But well, maybe I uh, typical bloke and I over exaggerated the size. If you know what I mean. <laughs> but, um, uh, they're pretty cool. I quite like. I like. The, I love the design. Absolutely love the design. I don't know. <laughs> I maybe shouldn't tell you this, <laughs> but I, I, I did the drawing. And, and I sent the drawing off to him. Um, as you've just seen on the video, on the, the little photo that I've put up, the Wittering is in white and the, and the truck is in uh, the truck is in red. Well, when I've done the drawing, obviously I can't send him a white drawing, can I? So I did the truck uh, Wittering in black and a trucker in red. And I did say to him, "Can I have it?" Um, can I have it? You know, white. And then the trucker in blue. Anyways, um, he says, "Yep, no problem." Gets a message off him saying he'd done them in the post. Fair play to him. I asked him on Wednesday. I received them on the Friday. Brilliant service from him as always. I did pay extra for him to come uh, next day delivery. Um, they went in the post on uh, on Thursday morning. I got them Friday. Well, my mother-in-law took delivery on uh, Friday morning. But um, he sent me a message, he says, Oh, <laughs> I've just realised I've done these stickers wrong. He's, uh, he's cut them in red. He's cut the, the trucker in red. However, I've been stewing since I'd sent him the order. <laughs> I've been stewing thinking, should have got trucker in red. Should have got it in red. Should have done it in blue. Should have got it in red. Should have got it in red. <laughs> and uh, so it was a very, very lucky mistake that he, uh, he cut her in the wrong colour. So it worked out for both of us. Had I have wanted them in blue, I have no doubt whatsoever he would have recut them and sent them out at his cost. I know for a fact he would have done because it was ultimately his mistake. But I'm very happy that he made that mistake because I should have got them in red. <laughs> so, Andy, if you're watching, pal, really appreciate your mistake. I really appreciate your work. You guys, I will stick the link for uh, for Andy's uh, website in the description. So yeah, your vinyls and stuff, he'll quite happily post out. Uh, he does embroidery, he does uh, printing on t-shirts and stuff. Uh, it, yeah, check out the website page. Um, brilliant service, a brilliant couple. Um, they're, they're, um, it's just a family business. Um, it, it, it was local to me in Wakefield. He now uh, has a shop over at Burlington. Like I say, brilliant couple, uh, Andy and Kath. So yeah, check them out, have it personalised. <sighs> so right, I've waited on enough for uh, an intro. I'm going to make it like a tree and leave. <laughs> oh God, that's bad, on it? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to disappear for a bit. I'm going to get into London. I might do a bit of time lapse through London, but I'm certainly not going to do the uh, 
talky stuff because I get myself all wound up and annoyed and my blood pressure goes through the roof and I don't know. I'm not that bad. But um, yeah, I might do a bit of time lapse. Uh, I'll take you in the last bit. I'll take you around Marble Arch up to the side with me. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. See you soon, bye. Hi guys, how are we? Well, we are... I don't know where we are. Edgware Road. Um, we've got about a mile, mile and three quarters to go. It's saying nine and a half minutes. So not too bad. Been a bit of drama. Not drama, but just lots of traffic and crap. <laughs> just stereotypical London on a, Monday, on a rush hour morning. It is what it is. The bus trying to squeeze down the inside of me now, and there's no room for it, but yeah, it's going to try. Psycho cyclist, more cyclists, there we go. Eyes in your ass. Honestly. <laughs> it's alright having all these systems on the truck and all the stickers all over it. Well, I don't really have any, but. You know, there's a lot of trucks have got, you know, if, you, if you're in this area, you're in danger, if this zone, you're in danger, blah, blah, blah. Well, if they don't take any notice of anything, then <laughs> what's it matter? What's the point in having the stickers and, and all the systems and, and all the expense? You know, we've got a massive bleeper when you put left indicator on it. Bleep, bleep, this vehicle is turning left. Bleep, bleep, this vehicle is turning left. Still coming out inside of you, even though you're turning left. You know, it's just totally pointless, the whole system. I appreciate why it's there. Um, the best system we've got, this DVS, driver vehicle aids, DVS, no, drive, vehicle, driving, I don't know, I don't even know what it stands for. But basically, if you haven't got it fitted to your vehicle, you can't come into central London. Um, D, DVS is, it's the curb camera, um, oh, marble arch, <laughs> the curb camera, you've got to have a curb camera fitted, uh, the bleep bleep, this vehicle's turning left. And you've also got to have um, proximity sensors on that corner, passing your side near side corner. Um, so if anybody walks past, there's a on on that side there is. Oh, stop. Um, yeah, on that side on the on the air post there is a, a like a traffic light uh, system. Uh, the closer they get, you know, it starts at green, obviously, and goes up to red, and then when it gets into the bottom part of the red, it starts bleeping at you. Um, so that's pretty good. That tells you if you've got a push bike hidden down there, you know, or a pedestrian or something like that, it's quite good. Um, and the camera's quite good. It's quite useful to see any vehicles or anything that's tucked down that bottom corner. But the bleep bleep is pointless, just a noise. It's just a total pointless exercise, that bit. Because nobody takes any notice of it. The idea is very good, but nobody takes any notice of it. Ran over. <laughs> so yeah, Marble Arch. Just driven it literally done a loop around Marble Arch, it's now to our right over there. And we're heading towards Notting Hill. Is it Notting Hill Gate? Don't know what the difference is. But for those of you watching overseas and have not been into London, London bus! Lots of them! And they're all driven by idiots. Majority of, not all. Honestly, I swear down, I don't know where to get the licenses from, I really don't. I do what, I do know one thing though, I'm blooming starving! I haven't eaten yet, I started at 4 o'clock this morning. It's now 10 o'clock. Um, 
before I started recording, you would have seen, or oh, when I started, um, yeah, after the intro, you would have seen a little bit of uh, time lapse, and that was coming away from um, Baldock Services. I, uh, I parked at Baldock for 45 minutes. Uh, I had about maybe about 10 minutes. I could have got straight to site with about 10 minutes left, but. Um, when I left Baldock, it was an hour's drive. Oh, an hour and twenty, I think it was. Uh, I've already been driving uh, an hour and a half. <laughs> and how there yet? So I wouldn't have made it. I would have ended up out of time. I would have ended up out of driving time, which obviously would have caused issues then. And I would have had to. Um, well, I wouldn't be able to park anywhere. I would have had to stop. Anyway, digressed. <laughs> what was what I meant was I stopped at bowled up for a 45 minute break, cleared my driving time so I had a full four and a half hour driving period to get into town um, and I should have got some breakfast then but I, uh, I elected to have a 45 minute nan nanny nap so that's what I did <laughs> so I, uh, I reset my, uh, my drive time and I reset my snooze <laughs> or should that be reset my patience level Oh, it's a two into one zipper. It's a zipper that nobody understands the co uh, the concept of a two into one zip. I've got a van trying to push down near side now. <laughs> it's like if you look straight in front of you now, you can see the bus is tight up the back side of that van. What he should do is let that. There's a little car just inside the black van here, in front of the black car. Sorry. Just in front of this black van here, there's a little car. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Um, but the bus should, to make this system work correctly, should let that in. One, you know, one from each lane, zippering. You know, filtering one from each lane. That's how this system's supposed to work. It's like, I find it annoying too, but you'll be coming to uh, a road, clo a lane closure, a two lane road, uh, road outside lanes closing in X amount of feet, you know, X amount of yards or whatever. Um, what you should do is use both lanes all the way down and then zipper. Oh he has, he's pulled back a lane. Um, and then zipper at the end of it. Whereas a lot of people, it, it is frustrating. You know, everybody jumps into the first lane, into the, the lane that's uh, staying open. Everybody jumps into that and queues and then gets annoyed at all the people coming down the outside and goes right to the front. Well, strictly speaking, they're not doing anything wrong, they're not doing anything illegal. Um, as long as they zipper in correctly at the bottom, at the end. People just don't use the road correctly. At the moment, right behind me now, I've got a taxi sat on the chevrons at this side, and I've got that little white van parked in a, bus, uh, in a cycle lane on that side, next to each other, because neither of them will give way to zipper. Shut up! Stay straight on. Yeah, let's have a look see what that answer. New load added! Let's see, where are we going? Well, I'm going London to Southampton, but I'm obviously I'm loading somewhere between. I can't check it at the moment. I can't actually, I can log out. Oh well. The system we've got, we have to, you, you can't, it gives you a list of your jobs but it only, it doesn't show you the middle part of the job, it shows you where you're setting off from and where your destination is. So all I can see for my next job is London, which is where I will finish this job, and uh, my end destination will be Southampton. I have no idea where I'm collecting from, <laughs> no idea. Uh, so what we have to do, we've, we've, we've figured out a, 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 way, a work around it and we have to log out of the uh, the app uh, and then log back in, which is what I was just trying to do there but obviously the lights changed so I have to play on my phone while I'm driving Mr. Boss Officer um, Why is it, why is it 20? Uh, just check my speed then um, that enough says it's just a 30 but um, obviously the big 20 on the floor is a giveaway as well 
Uh, yeah, we log out and log back in, and then it gives you option then to open the job up, and then you can have a look on the job properly. But if you're part way through doing a job, you can't do it, you've got to log out. Pain in the butt, but it is what it is. Slow down. 22 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour, a bit slow, but again, appreciate why there's not when people are doing stupid stuff like that. As if I'm cute. Anyway, half mile to go. Oh, I've got an amazing hack for you. Amazing hack. I'll show you later. For you uh, flatbedders, I use a lot of ropes, uh, use a lot of uh, straps. I've got an amazing hack for you. I will uh, definitely 100% show you that hack later. It is brilliant. Love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Last time I came here, I spoke to the workers here on this site to his right and asked them where this site was. And they said, take a right at the lights. And they were correct. But I do have to dig out to the left a little bit to make this turn. behind me. And this is Bears Water Road apparently. And the site we're going to is all those cranes you can see just above the buildings ahead. I think yeah it is. Ba 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 do that <laughs> yeah sorry I would I guess I was thinking to myself then as a young lady there an attractive young lady walking along um, and then she makes herself look in my opinion the ugliest possible things you can make herself look <laughs> um, she put a cigarette in her mouth minging gross Blech. like I said prettiest looking woman in the world puts a cigarette in her mouth Instant. Blech. Not for me. Alright, I'm going to illuminate the uh, roof light shortly. There's that gate straight in front there with a big red sign on it is where we're going in. I'm going to cause havoc. Because I overhang this crossroads when I uh, pull up to it. Tooty toot. <sighs> right, let's some hazards on. Right, the problem we've got as well is I've got a, about a foot and a bit overhang at the back end, which um, is not ideal. Um, so, right, I'm going to cut you guys loose. Uh, I don't know if you heard that bleep then, but that was a road angel on the left hand side. Um, I'm going to cut you guys loose and uh, I'll let you know where I'm going later when I'm only pulling out of here. Catch up with you guys soon. Speak to you soon. Bye guys. Bye guys. Speak to you soon. Bye guys. Yeah, you know what I mean. See you in a bit guys. Bye for now. Hi guys. Um, welcome back. Well, um, <laughs> they weren't expecting that load. <laughs> Somebody's ordered it. So I got there at what, just after uh, about quarter past ten, it's now quarter to twelve, not too bad, it's an hour and a half, um, but there was there was um, three pallets stacked at the front of the trailer, you know, two and then one in the middle, um, sorry four pallets there was actually, two on each side, they've taken them off, but the, the column things I've got, the had, I still on, they've not taken them, so um, now I've got to try and figure out how to get out of here. Um, we're going to Dagenham. I'm going to block this junction. There's nothing to stop me from blocking this junction. But I've been sat at those lights for flipping ages. So I'm blocking the junction. Sorry, I'm cleaning my teeth because I've just had a pot scratching. Um, yeah, this isn't ideal. So yeah, I've, got, I've still got the pipes on. And um, they don't want them for about five weeks. So I'm now taking them to um, Stobart's yard at Dagenham um, and apparently that could be the job coming through now apparently there is 
Um, a cab in there to uh, to come in come back into London for this afternoon. Well, it's quarter to twelve now. One o'clock. Yeah, it's doable. I guess it depends whereabouts in London we're going, I suppose. But um, yeah, so that's that's the plan right now. It's telling me I've got a weak bridge. Keep going. So that I should have picked it up. Shouldn't have done. Might have done. <coughs> So yeah, so it's quite, it's quite giddy. It's quite uns not unstable. It's not loaded. It's not loaded right, obviously. Um, but it's not unsafe. Um, as, as I said earlier, I've got about a foot, foot and a half overhang. I've now got a four foot gap at the front. <laughs> so there's a lot of weight at the back. Let's go. Uh, there's a lot of weight at the back. Um, I let that bus go, so this bus pushes down inside of me. Absolute morons, you know. Um, I'll say I can't go over this bridge. Oh, we'll go over it anyway. Um, I was saying, yeah. So I've actually got the lift axle up. There's that little weight on the on the headboard. I've actually got the lift axle up. I don't know where I am. That's the west way, isn't it? I think. Is it? Don't know. But we're going up onto that road up there, I think. Yeah, we are. Looks like it. Could be. Maybe. Might be. Don't know. Nobody coming in. Well, the good thing about going to Dagenham is I can get my truck washed. Again. Sorry, Mr. Merck, but I'm going for it. Do apologise and all that. Um, yeah, I had to put. Oh, it could be a bit snug. Why would you do that? I don't know why they do that. Bloody push bikes. Keep left here. Depot only. I don't want to go that way then, do we? Council Depot, up here, I'm going for King's Cross, Houston. Well, ultimately we're aiming for the uh, A13. Um, don't want to go that way, I'm going to go straight on. Yep. Um, yeah, we're, we're ultimately trying to get towards... Um, well, we're going across the South Embankment. Um, eventually we'll pick up the A13. That's, uh, that's ultimately the plan. So, uh, both right turn, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, no, I am. Yeah, this Paddington Police Station to your left now. When we came in earlier, we actually went across, across here. Eight minutes and ten delay. We've got 15 miles and just over an hour to do it. I'm going to Satnav. So, right, well, I'm going to chuck up some speedy time lapse because you don't want to listen to me waddle on waiting and waffling and going on and on and on about the atrocious driving in London. <laughs> so, we'll stick up some time lapse and I'll speed it up super fast. I'll let you have a laugh at that. And, oh, so nice to catch up. There we go. And I'll speak to you guys later on. If Satnav ever makes his mind up. There we go, back on now. Speak to you soon, guys. Bye for now.
I got your question last night and I rung Martin straight away. Obviously me and Martin both own this company. We sat down and had a chat for about a good half an hour. And what we've decided is anybody that's served time in the army, that have come out, they want wanting a refresher course, to get a job in this country now, back home, where you belong, come and see us and we'll give you a refresher course for free. Absolutely nothing. All we'll want is stories about the army. Now I take my hat off, I've got some good, good friends that have served and they're loyal to me. So this is our way of saying thank you. It's not a lot, but it's the best we can do. So if you know anybody that wants a refresher course that has served, tell them to get in touch with us. Obviously we'll have to book it around lessons. Obviously we'll all teach it, even our instructors are on board with this. It's just us giving back. So guys, if you could share it, tell as many people as you want, it'd be a massive help. Let's get word out here that we're doing this. Cheers. Hi guys, how are we doing? Welcome back. Um, well, it's a bit later on now. Um, as you saw on that bit of, well, a lot of time lapse, possibly a bit, depends how much you cut out. But you see there that I uh, ended up in Stobart's at Dagenham. We've got a yard, we've got part of their yard sectioned off for us. We rent a piece of land from them. So we've got our own yard. Um, so I dropped that loaded trailer from Central London. I dropped that in there and I have collected. It's actually a Ken Mallinson trailer, uh, it's a green trailer, um, and it's got this, well, I was told it was a cabin, but it's more of a modular building, it's only a small little thing, but it's very tippy, it's very, very wobbly, it's quite high, small footprint, it's, um, it's about eight foot across, it's not quite full width at bed, but it's, um, it's not far off, there's absolutely no weight in it, it like I say, it's just very wobbly at the top. Um, apparently it's going into a housing estate, it's, uh, it's the last one to go in. So one of the lads has um, just phoned me and uh, he makes, explained where I'm going, which sat has taken me there anyway, so... And obviously that's in Enf Enfield. And we're only four miles away, so I thought I'd bring you in. So as you should have seen on the time lapse, I did some... Uh, I hope I do, if I remember. <laughs> I've put some captions and stuff over the top. Um, and I've put up a gentle reminder about the Olight giveaway, prize draw thing. Um, I really appreciate everybody that's donated, entered. Uh, I appreciate every one of you. I really do. I can't thank you enough. However, I am kind of disappointed in the uh, in the poor take up on it. Um, we're at about two hundred and eighty three pound at the moment. Um, I want to get to that that um, five hundred pound mark. Um, as soon as I get to the £500 mark, I can then close it, um, withdraw the money from that, um, and then get WS to cough up their bit, and we can donate that to Andy's Man Club. Um, and obviously, then we'll do the uh, we'll do a quick Saturday night live draw, and we'll see who actually wins it. Why is he stopping? You're on a giraffe, aren't you? Like you're doing a U-turn there. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Some people driving. School, school kick out time as well. What time are we on now? It's four o'clock. There's going to be plenty of kids about. Plenty more hazards to watch. Plenty of traffic to sit in on the way out. Unbelievable. Oh, while we're on, while we're chatting. Um, there's been a couple of comments about my fingernails. <laughs> um, I don't like biting my nails. I don't like cutting my nails. I've got a bit of a, a phobia of cutting my nails. And I just can't abide to bite my nails. It's just awful. I hate it. Um, so generally... I can't believe this guy's doing this. But he's coming all the way on the wrong side of the road. No way did he just do that. Sorry, sorry, that just blew me away. Baffled me did that. A tipper driver's just come up, literally gone to the wrong side of the road and driven around everybody just to get to the outside lane. So impatient people, huh? So impatient. Um, yeah, I've got, it's, uh, could you call it a phobia? I suppose you could. Um, I've just got a dislike for uh, biting or cutting my nails. I hate it. Um, that's from a little fingernail. I don't know, I've always had little long fingernails on my little Netflix finger. I guess it's a good picker, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good scoop. 
Ah, oh, bless him. Man on his scooter. Man on his scooter. They're getting a prolific around London now as the push bikes are. But they go a hell of a lot faster. No helmets. No registration, no insurance. <laughs> ah, well. So yeah, that's why I've got long nails. Because I don't like chopping. Where are you going, love? Turn right. It's a good looking scan here. A mile to go, and we're turning right over a railway line, I believe. Turn right and then go over a railway line, and we turn right again, which apparently is quite awkward. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Whew. I've got a sausage roll here for my lunch. <laughs> um, so, after this. It's got me ending this job in rugby trucks uh, in our yard at rugby. That might be my crane actually, right in front of us. Yeah, it could be. Um, yeah, that crane in front of us now. I think that might be for us. Um, yeah, after this, it's got us finishing in rugby uh, depot, and then tomorrow morning we're going up to uh, workshop to workshop galve, picking up a load out there and going to put docks. That's where we are at the moment. That's definitely ours, I've just seen the cradle on the bottom. It has a like a spread of bar cradle thing. Yeah, Monson Road, or Monson Avenue, that's what we're on. Oh, I guess that uh, Chevrolet's not going down there then. That's Mr. Impatient. Drove down the wrong side of the road to get towards the front of the traffic. That's not exactly easy. Oh, it is. Oh, blooming train now. You can see me upsetting a lot of people here. Oh, that could be really tiny. I know it's doable because my mate's done it several times. I've got to get around that centre island there. That is snug. <coughs> it's a high curb as well, so it's not like I can rub the curb. We're round. We done it. Keep an eye out for back of the bus, make sure nobody runs out. And that tax is just going to keep coming, like I said. Heaven forbid you're waiting back there, mate. <laughs> Young kid nearly laid down in his seat. He did say it was snug with cars. Oh, there's Korean. Oh, there's a Korean. It's the same one. Why couldn't you just wait back? Why, why couldn't you just stop? You just bully your way through. It does make me laugh. It does make me laugh. Right. It's not this one. So I'll show that road closure there, that's where I'm going. Ah, 
I said it was a painted island. There we go, turning left at the painted island. What the flip? Where are we going? Pull the drive off, do your next left, yep. come round. No, okay, no rumors. Or you could just do what they do, go wrong side round roundabout. Be patience, like I said. They're going to bully the way through, and so am I. And where do you want me to go? They could have just waited back there. Mr. Bus Driver, please open your eyes. Really? Not that. I can't get around there now. Let's go back. Go back. He saw me coming and carried on coming. What a flipping knobhead. He saw me coming and carried on coming. I say he saw me coming and just carried on. Pip all you like, I don't give a f Wow. Now that car down there is causing me issues because I can't get swing for trailer. I'm going to have to take some grass. Let's hope I don't sink. Please don't wheel spin, please don't wheel spin, please don't wheel spin. Beyond ridiculous. should be turning left now for the crane. So I'll love you and leave you and I'll speak to you guys uh, once we're tipped. Mr Ice is going to have to move. Speak to you soon guys. Bye for now. Good morning guys. How are you? How are you well? Well it's uh, Thursday morning. 22, um, 20 to, uh, 20 to 9 in the morning and we just loaded a super massive, humongously large load <laughs> oh, yeah. we got a two dropper sorry, back up a little bit pulled out of um, 
that drop at Enfield last night, it was tighter. It was tighter getting out than it was getting in. Uh, we were only on site for about 25 minutes, something like that, not long at all. And then we went and sat in all that traffic, if you remember. Yeah, it was good, it was good fun, really enjoyed it, honest. I'll see you coming down here. That's it. Um, no garbage is there. Yeah, it was, uh, it was tight getting out, shockingly tight. The, uh, the junction on that roundabout with it, when I had the uh, discussion with the bus driver, if you remember, um, I, I simply couldn't. I couldn't get all the way around it, I had to wrong side it. Um, and that itself was very tight. So I got out of there and then I bomb burst up to Newport Paddle Services last night, back there for the night. Uh, because I was out, of, well, I simply couldn't get any further. I was going to be out of time on a 15 again. You're very welcome, young man. Don't hurt, just to say thank you. Yeah, I was, uh, I wouldn't have got any further. So I've nighted out in Newport Pagnell, up at four again this morning, into our yard at Rugby because I had to swap the trailer because I had a Mallington trailer on. I had to swap it for one of ours. Um, I really understand that because the load I've got on now, um, if you've not already guessed, I've just pulled out a workshop galve. Ironically it works up. <laughs> uh, and the load I've got on has been live loaded. So I could have come in with that uh, the green trailer, um, it wouldn't have been an issue. And I've got a total, you got this, ready? A total of 1.26 tonne on the back. And that's two drops. <laughs> two drops. I'm going to Harlow, um, I think I've taken you in before. I'm pretty sure I have. Um, as uh, one point. It's 1.02 ton, I think it is, something like that. I don't really remember without looking at the paperwork. Um, it was one point. It's just over a ton. Ten pieces of uh, steel, and they're waiting for me. They've literally stopped work. They can't, they can't progress any further until I've got there. Um, and it's going to be about half past twelve when I get there. Um, and then I'm going on to uh, Blackfriars um, in London, just south of the river. And that's with um, 2.7, no, 0.27 of a ton, 270 kilos, one beam. And again, the station in the can't work until I've got there and got rid of it, and delivered it. So I've managed to get, a f yeah, I did get a 15 while I went to go in. So I've got a 15 break in. I need a 30 minute break. I've got two hours and six minutes left on drive time. And I've got a um, three hour drive to get to Harlow. So I'm going to bosh out the next hour 45, something like that. Might get to Cambridge. Yeah, I'll get to Cambridge Services. It'll take a 30 minutes at Cambridge. And I'm going to squeeze down outside, aren't you? Even though the road wasn't there yet. Bless you. Um, yeah. yeah, so that's the plan for now. Let's say two drops. Another London delivery, that'll be my fourth this week. Whoop whoop, bonus. We, uh, every time you tip inside the M25 you get a bonus. <coughs> I did two yesterday, so pretty good. All adds up, doesn't it? All adds up. What I, uh, I earn from the bonus will fuel my car for the month. Yeah. <laughs> Bear in mind, I don't use a lot of fuel anyway, but you know, but it will will run my car for the month. <laughs> we're talking about fuel. What we're running at the moment? I reset everything. Let's have a look. Ten point eight miles to the gallon, averaging. Uh, 
That's not bad, is it? I know I've not been on massive weights all the time, but uh, I don't drive it gently. You know, I don't hang about. I get on with the job. And uh, yeah, 10.8 a gallon, so I'm pretty happy with that. And that's running it in power mode as well. I've mentioned this before in a previous video. Um, there's three different modes on these things. What are they? Um, Was it eco? Was it eco standard power? Power. Um. Well, yeah, they're supposed to improve. You know, eco is supposed to be the, the most fuel econo economic, right through to power. But it's down to how you drive the truck. It's down to how you drive the truck. I've explained this before in a previous video. Um, and I think people have struggled to beat me at 10.8. Say that, I suppose when you've only got like <laughs> two ton on, you're gonna get good fuel, aren't you? <clears throat> I did say at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna show you a hack um, ratchet strap hack for storage. I'll uh, I'll try and get it done today. If I don't, I'll have to wait. You have to say I'll have to save it for the next week. Um, see where we get parts up. Yeah, we'll see where we get parts up, and I might be able to uh, might be able to do it then. If not, like I say, we'll save it for next week. But I will show you it. It's a very very simple hack. I can't call it a hack. It's a very very simple idea. Very very effective. Very effective. Shall we break? Be a good idea to break before we hit the Mercedes. So, well, I'll leave you for now. Um, I'm not going to put any time lapse up because I've put crap loads on. In fact, I think this video is going to be quite long, isn't it? Yeah, I think I might call the video. I might call it for this week and. Um, save the hack stick around when I finish this bit because it'll either be the end titles or it'll be more b-roll of the truck if you want to see it depending if I get time to film any over the next day or two um, I washed it while I was in rugby today so she's looking okay right now it's down to finding somewhere that I can park up take a break and get that footage so we'll see about that I don't know um, but yeah if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far um, from my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and then you get uh, notified every time I do upload. Um, follow me on uh, Instagram. I do have a page on Facebook, but I never post on there. Um, if you want to get in contact, there's plenty of details in the description. The, um, the slow mail address is still the same one as I was using when I was at uh, Markham Vale, um, I need permissions to use the, the first one at the moment, but I've got a lad who's going to let me know if anything turns up at Markham Vale. Um, so if you fancy sending anything through, there you go, you don't have to. Uh, there is a buy me a coffee link in there, I've not mentioned that for a while. Uh, there's also the uh, Chrome Northwest discount code, WT10, gives you a 10% discount at checkout when you order online. What else is there for you? I think that's about it, ladies and gents. So, yep, stick around until just after this bit. It'll either go to B roll or it'll go to closing credits. The ladies and gents, boys, girls, all those that are confused, appreciate you spending the time with me, and I mean that sincerely. Bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. So, thanks for riding along with me, and I'll catch you next week. Bye, guys.